Okay, we're past the threshold. Start the flare. Keep pulling back slowly. Let the Again? bolt settle onto the runway. No! Push it down, but don't let it start climbing. Dude! Whatever time may be, welcome to my channel. So I am on my third lesson. My third lesson. There's an old saying I like. Hopefully. A mile of road will take you a mile. A mile of runway will take you anywhere. Hopefully. I Taking off isn't hard, but there are a few key crash. points to remember. First, we always take off into the wind, which won't be an issue on a calm day like today. Second, before we enter a runway, we always make sure it's clear. Okay. So, yes. Everything looks good, no cross traffic. Go ahead and taxi into position. The rudder pedals should make steering the plane pretty easy. Mm -hmm. some. All right, so we want to Oh, I'm gonna let go of these brakes, and then we want to not go over too fast. I'm gonna go about 20 because I don't want to go off the runway, so I'm kind of going slow because I don't want to go too fast. Okay. Apply full power and I'll walk you through the takeoff as we go. Alright, so I'm ready to go. I'm ready. Let's do this. Wait, Wolf, wait! Use your rudders to stay on the center line and keep pushing power until you reach 55 knots. Five. Now yeah, gently pull back on the yoke. All right. Line up the top of your instrument panel so it's a couple inches above the horizon. This. That'll pitch us up and set a good climb attitude. And we're airborne. Focus on flying straight. Use your rudders to keep the runway heading of 210 degrees. Maintain 75 knots and we'll reach our target altitude of 5,500 feet in no time. All right, I'm going to be at 5,500 feet. Oh, I'm too high. This is so hard. I'm using keyboard. I tried to use the Xbox controller, but it was not working out for me. It was like hard to figure out, but this was hard to figure out at first, so maybe I can go back to that. Let me know if you guys want to see me use my Xbox controller. I really like... I'm 175. I really like um, using the keyboard ah, though. 5,500 feet. A nice safe altitude for part two of our lesson. Straight and level flight. First step here is adjusting our attitude. Okay. No more straight. I'm about to be perfect. We're right up there, yeah. Attitude, pushing max power. To stay level at our target altitude, let's start by easing the throttle back to 1800 RPMs. Okay, let's ease that. We want to go to about. Here. You probably noticed to maintain altitude, you need to pitch the nose up. 
You could just keep pulling on the yoke to hold steady, but that's not really a precise means of control. Probably better to adjust your trim wheel until you don't need to push or pull on the yoke. Drag the trim down when you need to set the nose up. Drag it up to set the nose down. Try adding trim to keep us at 5,500 feet without increasing throttle. If you feel our pitch slipping and need to get back to the proper attitude, don't worry. Just pull on the yoke, then dial in the right trim. The way I was taught, when you adjust the trim, you make rough changes at first to remove pressure on the yoke. Then small adjustments to find the perfect setting to keep your desired attitude. That's the key to straight and level flight. It saves you from constantly pushing or pulling on the yoke. And okay. that gives you more time to enjoy the ride. If you want more practice using the trim, go for it. Whenever you're ready to pass the controls, I'll be here. Like if you guys think she sounds like Cortana. I think she sounds like Cortana. That's why the new Halo is not coming out. Because she's over here playing Flight Simulator. <laughs> All right, I'm passing it to you, Cortana. Okay, I have control. Hope you enjoyed the lesson. She's gonna kill us! My first instructor used to say, the best part of flying is landing in one piece. The man was a terminal pessimist, but he wasn't wrong. Why does she start us out like Today, that? Today, you're in charge of bringing us in for a safe landing. Cortana, no. We've got clearance for a straight-in approach, so we don't have to complete the standard traffic pattern. And I've already set us up in landing configuration. At 65 knots, with 10 degrees of flaps and idle power. We're on the glide slope now. Maintain speed around 65 knots. Change your pitch if you need to, and keep your aim point on the runway number. When you're targeting the runway number, you want to keep it steady in your sights. If it looks like the number's moving up in your windscreen, you're coming in low. You're not making this any you better. You need a bit more throttle to get back on the slope. This is hard. <laughs> if it looks like the number's moving down in your windscreen, well, then you're too high. You'll need to add flaps to increase your rate of descent. But you'll also need to push forward and trim to change your attitude and maintain the same speed. Perfect 65, but I want to like, be like right in the middle. But I'm at a perfect point for landing, I feel like, but I want to be like a little bit over. Keep your aim to the point right. on the runway threshold. When you're 10 feet above the runway, it's time to flare. Once we pass the threshold, shift your aim point to the end of the runway. I want to have to restart this. Then Pull back slightly on the yoke to aim the nose just above it. Ah, uh, down is up. We're past the threshold, but still a bit high. Keep reducing altitude. No! You should be able to start flying ah! now. <laughs> It's all her fault. Who starts you off flying like that? Okay, we're past the threshold. Start the flare. Keep pulling back slowly. Let the plane settle onto the runway. <laughs> Push it down, but don't let it start climbing. Dude! We're past the threshold, but still a bit high. Keep reducing altitude. You should be able to start flaring the plane now. Ah! Keep pulling back slowly. Let the plane settle onto the runway. Don't push it down, but don't let it start climbing. I got it. 
Nice. That didn't look like it was going to land apply right, the but... to slow us down and bring the plane to a stop. It, it landed. It landed. It was it was bumpy, but but we did it. I got everybody here safely. <laughs> Great job. As they say, any landing you can walk away from is a good landing. But if you can use the plane the next day, it's outstanding. <laughs> Landings can be hard, even for seasoned pilots. Trust me, don't hesitate to practice. After all, that's what we're here for, right? Yeah, that was good. Thank you. Oh my gosh, congratulations. I made it and I didn't die. <laughs> Alright, thank you guys for watching. See you later. Maybe the next one will be a solo one. Like if you liked it and comment and subscribe, you guys. Let me know. Let me know how you liked it. Alright, bye you guys.